Hello YouTube, this is Cheska from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to download a Coursera downloader. What you're going to use uh, this downloader for is to download course materials from Coursera University. As you may already know, Coursera is an online free university that you can take courses online for free. And uh, But as you may already know, it is copyrighted material and a lot of it they do not allow it to go into YouTube. And that creates a, a little bit of a problem for people like me because I like to listen to lectures while I either drive or whether I, I, I'm walking the dog or going for a walk. So I like to listen to, to the lectures on my phone. And it, it creates a problem because I don't have access to them. Python to the rescue. We have a downloader that we can download all of the course materials. You can download the video. You can convert the video from MP4 to MP3. You can do or anything you want. All you need to do is go into the GitHub account. This GitHub is by Dirk, Dirk Gorison, and uh, he did a, a, a fork and clean up uh, an old downloader code for Coursera. I, it's, it's very good. It is excellent, and uh, it works. It's very fast. And all you need to do is to go into his uh, website. You can either clone it, or you can... Uh, what I did was I downloaded uh, the zip file, and in order to do this that, that he explains here, you need to have pip installed. For those of you that don't know what pip is, pip is a, is a package installer for Python. This is awesome. And uh, if you don't have it installed, all you need to do, if you're working with Linux, Ubuntu, you more likely already have Python installed, uh, but you might not have pip. So you go into this website right here, pipinstaller.org, and all you need to do, if you're working with Debian or you're working with Ubuntu, all you need to do is to do this, open a terminal, and enter this command. That's all you need. And let's say that you go here, and you go paste, sudo apt-get install python pip, hit enter, enter your password, And bingo, Python, uh, Python pip is already the newest version. That means I already have it installed. So in your case, it, it might be different, okay? Once you have it installed, all you need to do is go back to the uh, website here and enter this command, pip install Coursera DL, okay? And it's going to just, just do that. And it's going to start uh, installing. You can also upgrade if, if you want to upgrade. Um, mine was already upgraded, so I didn't do that. So, And just simply run that command. pip install Coursera DL. Okay? Now, I'm sorry, someone's calling me. And all you need to do is go into, into, this, uh, into your website again. And you're going to enter this other command and paste and let me explain what this is going to do uh, after you after you downloaded the zip file let me go back uh, let me go back let me go back a little one step let's go into downloads after you downloaded that that file here, this one right here, you downloaded this zip, it's going to download, or you clone it, it's going to go, you're going to have a folder like this one right here, Coursera, DL Master, and let me show you what ls, it's going to be, you're going to have a zip file like this one, okay, or Yours is not going to have one or two. It's just going to say Coursera DL Master zip. So all you need to do is unzip it. And you say unzip Coursera DL Master zip. And it's going to inflate it. And it's going to create this directory right here. Coursera DL Master. Okay. After that's done. I'm not going to do it. Because I already have it. So I go into. Once you have it. You go into it. Oops. And you're going to have, let me clear this. 
you're going to have these files right here, okay? All of these files except one, except this one right there. You're not going to have that one yet. You're going to have all of these, okay? But you're going to be missing this one. In order to get this directory right here, you're going to do this, this one right here, okay? You copy that one, and you paste it. And here, of course, your username, you is for my username. Your username, you're going to enter the username that you use to log in into your Coursera Courses account. Your password that you're going to use is the password that you use to log in into your Coursera Courses account. And it's going to create a directory called my path in my case i left it like that for you to see where it came from but you can name it whatever you want whatever name of uh, you can name that directory whatever you want and the name of the course do not enter this course this course is uh is a course that he uses an example is is a machine learning course out of stanford is uh, algorithms uh, machine learning okay in your case you're going to pick a course in my case I picked this course that I just signed into it and you're going to go into go to class after you have to sign in you have to si sign the owner code and all that go into the video lectures and as you can see here this is what you need right here right here on top and you need this in order to you don't need that lecture all you need is that okay so you're going to go copy and go back into your terminal and you're going to replace it with the course that you're interested in taking and you're going to say optimization 002 okay that's all you need and you hit enter if i hit enter i'm going to have uh, an error because that's not my username and that's definitely not my password but I'm going to do it anyway so you know what it does. It tries to log in. It goes log in. The parser is trying to log in. But obviously, it failed to authenticate because that's not my username. In your case, if everything, if you already have an account, it should go right through. Use whatever username. In my case, I, I have my email account as my username. Yours it might be the same or it might be different. Okay? So once you're in, it's going to start downloading and as you can see this is what i'm doing right here i'm downloading as you can see knapsack one knapsack two greedy knapsack three modeling knapsack four and if you go here these are the same guys that are being downloading right now and and when they download it they're going to have a green mark as you can see that page is done already so now it's doing this week and then it will do this one and then that one and it does it automatically you can go and have a cup of coffee or go for a walk and python is working for you that's the beauty of this uh, downloader you don't have to sit there and start downloading one by one i mean look at that it takes forever and my my computer is not a it's not a slow computer and still slow look at that if you have to do that for every one of them, you'll be spending all day there. So that's why uh, there were, I was very glad to see that there was a solution to that. And that's why I'm making this video for you guys to see. Okay, so that's, that's all you need to do. Now let me show you how to, once you have it into your uh, downloaded, right? You're going to have to bring it into your phone. This is a step two of the tutorial, how to put bring it into your phone. You need to connect your phone into your computer. This is my phone right here. Okay, if I open it, you're going to have your albums, your MPT prayer, and, but this is the most important file right here, this document. This is DCIM. And here you have all the, I created a folder, lectures folder, and these are all classes that I have either taking or 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 I have some other uh, material that I that I like that I listen to from to you know to to keep learning something that I don't know and uh, that's the beauty of Coursera you can do that for free and what you do is 
you, I created a folder called discrete optimization because that's the name of the class, discrete optimization. So it's discrete optimization, and I created a folder in this folder. Inside that folder, you're going to put in your lectures, okay? This is one that I did there. Uh, I was testing it. Let me start from scratch so you know how to do it. All you need to do is go into your uh, terminal. I'm, I'm going to use the GUI so you can see a lot better. You can also use the terminal, but I'm going to use the GUI. Uh, you go into your directory, Coursera DL Master, and you go to that folder, My Path, and you're going to find the folder that you have. In this case, Mailbox is this one, Mailbox, and there's two of them, week one and week three. And uh, what did I do? Sorry. Um, I went somewhere. Okay, so now you what you do is um, you go in here and you find the lecture that you want to bring into your phone. Let's say that in this case, actually you can even bring the whole folder. So let's say you go copy and you go into your folder, DCIM, find the lectures folder, discrete optimization, and paste it. Boom, done, bingo. And, and look how fast. And it starts doing it, so it's all done. If you that's already inside your phone. So if you go into your phone and you 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 can play that video. You can play that video if I if I click open here it will click on it, but I'm not gonna do that because it might kick off the camera that I'm using to record this video, so I'm not gonna show you that. So all you need to do this is inside your phone, okay? And you, you need to have an application, of course, that plays MP4, or you can take that MP4 and convert it into MP3, and, and you will have just the audio if you want to save space. It's up to you. In my case, I like to have the video just in case I want to look at something that they're showing, so I like to have the video. But uh, it's up to you. And if you do, if you want the slides, these are the slides, the PDF file, and all the text. Everything is there. But that's all you need. So in your phone, you need two applications. You need an, a file manager, either the file manager that comes with your phone, or in my case, I use ES, ES File Explorer, and I use Astro. They're both great. And you also need an MP4 or an MP3 player. I use Mobile Player, great app. I, I, I recommend it, you can use it also, okay? Uh, that's all you need on, on, on the phone end, uh, end of things. But uh, on the computer, I show you everything you need to know. This is the end of the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of other tutorials on Python and C++ image processing videos. You can take a look. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.